Once a month we get to do this with Jonathan E. Mord, attorney. He's a remarkable man, a great American. E. Mord and Associates, a law firm, truly a firm unique, uh, which is not afraid to take on the uh, crooks, swindlers, and criminals in the federal government. Uh, They specialize in law governing foods, dietary supplements, drugs, cosmetics, biologics, medical devices, advertising, unfair and deceptive acts, and so on and so forth. Jonathan himself has quite a background. I urge you to take a look at it at his website. Just click on his name and you'll go there. Several things to talk about tonight. How are you, my friend? Welcome back. Great to be with you, Jeff. Good to be here. Yeah. So uh, I could hear you cheering for the uh, the debt deal. That was wonderful, wasn't it? <laughs> or was that you or was that somebody else? I heard one uh, person cheering. I, uh, uh, you might have heard me crying. It, it sometimes can be mistaken for, for Yeah, I hear that. It's, a, it's a, How many times can they rape the middle class of this country? And it's not even lying anymore. It's It's a pathology that actually knows no bounds without at least somebody doing something. Now, you're doing something. You're firm on our behalf in many areas, but when the criminals get together to loot America, what's left of it, it almost becomes financial necrophilia. There's not much left to loot. Well, it's horrible. It's uh, made worse by the fact that the, the media is misrepresenting what's happening here. We have no reduction in spending. Uh, $2 trillion over 10 years is uh, is nothing. Effectively, the program results in a $91 billion annual reduction in the uh-huh. increase in spending. Spending is increasing each year by an amount of roughly equal to $1.2 to $1.4 trillion beyond receipts. This is so, it's, a, it's such a lie. It's such a scam. Uh, it's just a joke, a bad joke. It, it's, it's horrible, and uh, there's no... There's no uh, there's, this debt deal does absolutely nothing to avert what will be an absolutely extraordinary collapse of the American economy. It's it, by 2019, the national debt will be 25 trillion dollars, mm-hmm. and the unfunded commitments, mm-hmm. liabilities to Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security are presently 61 trillion, and they will go way above. Two hundred trillion uh-huh. in just a, a couple of decades. It's, right, uh, or sooner. I mean, this thing is so out of control. It's you know you're making a, a logical extrapolation on this, but things are so crazy now. I'm reading figures that are at 110, 114 trillion right now. Nobody knows for sure. We can't audit the Fed. Uh, this this gangster crony network, which is ultimately answerable and owned, of course, by the City of London. So we don't know. We don't know. And now they're going to, what, hold interest rates at zero or near zero, committed through uh, 2013. Everyone's saying, oh boy, goody. Uh, But that's not the point. The point is they own our money. They own our lives. They now own our country. And they'll keep printing money out of nothing, money that never existed, doesn't exist now and never will exist except in a computer. It's all a matter of zeros. And to think, you know, just the interest on the national debt presently is $251 billion. Um, it, it's, it's phenomenal. We have created yeah. the most gargantuan uh, government in the history of the world, and we scratch our heads for some reason and, and say that the typical uh, a person out there scratches their heads and says, well, how is it that uh, we're in such a fix? Uh, why, why can't I have full entitlements and benefits from the government and still uh, not, uh, you know, not uh, have to pay for it. And and the point is that, that the sad reality is that Americans have been sold a bill of goods for so long, and now the time has come to account for this. Right. And uh, we, have to, uh, we have to recognize that uh, self-reliance and a free market mm-hmm. have been and are mm-hmm. the solutions to our problems. Right. And right. I don't know if we can get enough political courage in this country to do what is necessary, and that's what really uh, scares me half to death, because if we don't get people in office who will dramatically reduce the size and scope of the federal government, uh, we are in for probably the worst depression uh-huh. we've ever seen. We're heading in that direction uh, as if we were on uh, sleds uh, right. uh, going downhill at a 90-degree angle. I agree. I, I don't honestly see any other future. Uh, 